आइए टायर बदल लीजिए ओके हेलो एवरीवन सो ऑब्वियसली माय बॉडी इज नॉट लाइक लाइक दैट ऑफ अवर बॉलीवुड स्टार्स सो दैट आई कैन लिफ्ट द कार विथ माय हैंड्स बट स्टिल आई हैव अ बेटर थिंग टू डू आई हैव अ बेटर वे टू लिफ्ट दिस कार वॉट आई हैव इज आई हैव अ स्क्रू जैक and with the help of this screw jack i am going to lift this car how i am putting a lever on it and i am applying a force on this and with this force when i am rotating this with this force the wheel as you can see is lifted up getting this now okay so this such a device is known as the simple machines the device which multiplies the force i am applying a very little force and that is multiplying the force in order to lift the weight of this whole car such device is known as simple lifting machines when i am putting two simple machines together it becomes a compound machine for example in this device only first is the screw jack first machine is the screw jack which is in, which in itself is a device in in itself is a machine second machine i am putting is this lever because if i apply the force from here it will be very difficult for me to apply the force Okay, so what I am doing is I am putting a lever on on this, and I am applying a force, so it becomes very easy. Okay, so such device is known as compound compound machine. Such such device is known as compound machines in which two or more simple devices, simple machines are used. Okay, first thing. Now the weight of this car, which is to be lifted, is known as load, which we generally denote by W, and the effort, the force which I am applying on this. the eff the effort the force which i am applying on this lever is nothing but the effort which we generally denote by p and the ratio of this load to effort is nothing but the mechanical advantage the load which is to be lifted and the effort applied the ratio of that load to effort is nothing but the mechanical advantage next term is the velocity ratio now what actually is this velocity ratio it is a distance moved by effort the ratio of distance moved by effort to the distance moved by load for example in this device only when i am rotating this by one complete revolution when i am rotating this lever by one complete revolution that means suppose the length of this lever is suppose l so when i am rotating this the total distance covered by this lever is nothing but 2 pi l the whole circumference which is getting covered by this this particular lever and with that one rotation the screw jack will be lifted by one pitch as you all know where with one rotation of this complete lever the screw jack will be lifted by one pitch okay so the distance traveled by effort which is nothing but 2 pi l in this particular case to the distance traveled by load which is nothing but pitch of the screw that ratio is nothing but the velocity ratio getting is not now next term is the efficiency of the machine now what actually is the efficiency of machine efficiency is defined as the ratio of output work done to input work done now suppose we have this car which is having a weight w we are assuming all the wheels to be lifted up assuming that and the weight of this car is suppose w that means the load to be lifted is capital w and the distance by which it is getting lifted is suppose small d so what actually is the work done by this particular machine work done is force into distance or force into displacement so that will be equal to w into small d now what work i am giving it i am applying a force p the work input we are saying i am applying a force p on this lever and with this p force suppose this lever is getting displaced by an amount suppose capital d which we have already seen that capital d is equal to 2 pi l and small d is equal to pitch so capital d this by distance capital d it is getting displaced so what will be input work done input work done is nothing but p into capital d okay now what will be efficiency efficiency is nothing but output upon input so efficiency will be equal to w into small d upon p into capital d or you can say w by p upon capital d by small d so this efficiency is equal to mechanical work upon velocity ratio this is nothing but the efficiency okay so if the efficiency is 100% that means if the friction is not present at all then what will happen then mechanical work will be equal to the sorry mechanical advantage will be equal to the velocity ratio in case if the friction is absent 
clear or not okay